Hey everybody, after posting my last video on uh, Motion Design Rundown playlist setup, I got a pretty good question here from Dwayne Orang 500 and he asks, uh, how do I you know, use this render selected pages button? How does that work? So really good question. Let's uh, take a look at that in this video. So I'm going to switch back to Unreal Engine and let's just review the setup that we have. At this point, I just have a single template level and I've created two different pages based on that template level. This is for lower third. So if I select the first of those two pages, I can preview that in and we get a burgundy first title. And if I preview next, we get a fade out and then a fade in second title. If I preview that out, we get a, a different kind of animation going out. So these are the two pages that are created. And just to review the template that they are using is set up with two different sequences an in sequence and that's used forward for taking in it's used in reverse for taking out and there's a change sequence that is used for fading out and fading in uh, the data so that um, you know we get the the fade out if we're changing out and we get the fade in if we're changing in so that's the overall setup here if we're going to use this render selected pages button uh, we have a few things that we need to set up before we can use that uh, the two main things are that we need to create a render template and we also need to add a camera cut track to each of these sequences because the uh, render selected is going to use the render queue unlike rundown the render queue uh, does use camera cut tracks to select what camera to use rundown is going to use the first camera it finds within the level and we used a uh, common setup for all of our uh, little templates to make sure that uh, that gets picked for rundown but we're going to need to explicitly set up our camera for these sequences for the uh, movie render queue so let's get that going first so here i am on frame zero of the change sequence i'm going to go ahead and add a camera cut track here right here and to that I'm going to add my Ava camera and there it is and so there we go that's in that one and then the other sequence also needs one of these so camera cut track and add in the new binding for the uh, Ava Cine camera and of course I'm just double checking that that runs for the entire duration of the sequence and that is all set from frame zero to the end for both of those sequences so let's go ahead and save these and control shift s to make sure save all yep okay we're good shape there so we got our camera cut tracks now we need to set up our render configuration and we can do that by going into the movie render queue from sequencer so if i hit this button here this will add this sequence to the movie render queue uh, and then it'll give us an opportunity to create a default uh, render configuration. So I'm going to click on that. And uh, oh, I was testing previously, so there's all my free, uh, four sequences. I'm going to delete those. Okay, so uh, let's just start this over again and click here. And now just this uh, sequence here is added to our render queue. The only thing we're using this for right now is to uh, set up and save our config. So I'm going to click on unsaved config. I do not want to render JPEG. I'm going to render my motion graphics as QuickTime 444. So I'll deactivate JPEG. I'll add a setting. I'm going to choose export Apple ProRes and that's activated. Uh, 444XQ is the highest quality. I'm just going to knock that down to 444 without the XQ. And this just refers to uh, high fidelity. Uh, so 444, we're going to get all of our pixels uh, for red, green, blue, and then the fourth four refers to the alpha channel so we want that alpha channel so that all this transparency is also coming into our quicktime file um, the apple prores uh, codec is available here as long as the prores plugin is on and i do have that on already uh, just to show you where you can get that if it's not available you can go ahead and hit edit and plugins it's always included with unreal and just type in prores and it's this apple prores media you just want to have that activated with that activated, uh, you should have ProRes available here. Um, I've already added it, so it wasn't in that list. Okay, so we've got ProRes. The other thing that's really important is that I need to get my output settings to include the use of the uh, job name because when this button is used, it's going to create a job name for each render 
that's based on the name of the page in the rundown. And so we want, instead of sequence name, I'm just gonna change this to job name. And that'll ensure we get a unique file name for each of our QuickTime renders. I'm not going to need a frame number because that we're gonna render video files rather than individual frames. And I, um, instead of movie renders, I'm just gonna put this into RD renders for rundown renders. So it'll go into its own folder, RD renders. And that's it for now. I mean, we can certainly add console commands and all kinds of optimizations, but for the purposes of this video, uh, this gives me my ProRes and the directory and the job name into my files. So that's everything I need for this preset. So I'm going to go to the unsaved preset and go ahead and save it. So I'll choose save. And I'm gonna put that in the same folder as all the other assets for this uh, tutorial. And I'm just gonna call this RD render config and save that and we can accept and then i'm just going to remove this from the render queue and now we have a clear render queue and i can close that one last step is that we want to make sure that the config we just created is set to be the default one used by this uh, render selected pages so we've got our camera we've got our uh, render config and now we just want to set that as default so we go to edit editor preferences and once that is loaded up, we can scroll down here, go to movie render queue under motion design. So motion design, movie render queue. And there is uh, you know, where we pick and set our default. So um, this now is going to be the render configuration that's used by our button. So we can close this, we can select our pages and we can go ahead and render select pages. All right, this will uh, get itself warmed up and fire. And here we go. We should get uh, four different jobs, one for uh, each sequence in each of the pages that we created. So we're currently rendering job one of four. I'll let this run through. And uh, once it's finished, uh, we'll take a look at those videos. Okay, so with our render complete, let's uh, take a look at our videos and here they are. I've got my uh, project folder and saved and there is my RD renders and there are the four renders. So let's put these to use in something. I'm gonna use DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this should work in just about any video player that supports uh, ProRes. Whoops, that's Camtasia. And there we go. There is our uh, DaVinci Resolve. Go back to my Explorer, select all four of these and drag them into my media pool. I'm on the edit page right now. So uh, let's just do a little quick edit here. I'm gonna take this video is the, uh, the in sequence. So let's uh, bring that in and we, we have our, our lower thirds comes in and then um, you know, I'm just going to immediately have that uh, crossfade to our uh, next title. So I'm going to take the uh, uh, crossfaded version and we'll just bring that here and get to the end of where that's visible and reduce that. And then here is our uh, change for the second title. So we will bring that in here. Probably should have set my ins and outs on the uh, media page, but all right, there we go. And finally, this will be our take out. And for that to take out, I'm gonna right click and just reverse it. So changing the clip speed to reverse and change. And so now that plays in reverse. So obviously this is all gonna happen in split seconds, but you get the idea. This is how we can use this in a video editor. Uh, and just to show that the alpha channel is uh, working here, I'm just gonna go into my fusion page and here you can see that the uh, alpha channel is working out for all of that. So um, that's about it. I hope this helps. And until next time, have fun.